Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland Google me, I'm everywhere And uh, this is Let Me Bore You to Sleep Only listen to this or watch the video when you can safely close your eyes because this boring sleep session that I'm aiming to bore you into falling asleep may cause drowsiness. Yes. So, um, I think this is, I think I've done about 33 of these so far. By you. <clears throat> when I did my hypnotic buffet session last night I thought I'd done 33 of them as well but I was wrong so I might be wrong on that as well on this but I think it's about 33 this might be the 34th let me bore you to sleep session so that's over 34 hours of me talking complete nonsense so that's not bad, is it? Good value for money as well, because it's free. That's pretty, pretty good value for money. So the whole idea, really, of these, if you haven't listened to them before, or if you have listened to them before, and you're sure, still not really sure what the idea of, or what my intention is with these sessions, is um, to just bore you into a sense of just drifting to sleep that is it so please don't don't listen to this if you're playing football in a cave or something like that something ridiculous like that because um, obviously you wouldn't play football in a cave because then you could get lost in the cave and the water could rise and you'd be stuck so you know if you're going to do something like that if you're young then make sure you've got an adult with you but preferably maybe a teacher but not a teacher that would take you into a cave to play football because that would be ridiculous ridiculous thing for an adult to do take children into a cave play football but hey I'm sure that would never happen anywhere. So, I mean, if a teacher did do that, would they get they'd lose their job, wouldn't they? For risking the lives of those children, those school children. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't imagine it ever happening, though. So, or if you're. I don't know, like a, it's those people that help land spacecraft, the ones that are guiding a spacecraft, a space shuttle to land, if that's your job then don't listen to this when you're doing that either, um, that must be a, a very wide awake kind of job I imagine. Yeah. So, I'm not going to talk about football. I may cough a bit because I've got a bit of a <coughs> itchy throat. Not itchy, as in I can scratch it. And because it's inside my mouth, and if I tried to scratch that, we'd be getting a lot more, a lot different noises and sounds than coughing. But uh, it's okay. So what I might do, I might just really talk to you about how you feel. Maybe we can just do a an old fashioned an old fashioned kind of relaxation regression.
where you just focus on different parts of your body and then become more and more focused on particular parts. And the more you do that, the more you actually feel more relaxed. And the more relaxed you feel, the calmer you feel. I'll tell you what I've been doing lately because I have sleep apnea which is quite a it's not a very nice condition to have and it just you know from the very on a very small level you know the, the smallest part of it is disturbed sleep because the breathing is you know kind of gets the, basically the throat just kind of closes up so that you can't get oxygen into your body into your brain through your blood you know all of the things are um, slightly important in order to stay alive so what I've been focusing on as I go to sleep is I've been doing this like little mantra And there's a, f a few things that I've noticed as I've been doing it. So, first of all, I'm just laying on my side. And the dementia really is, it varies, but it's generally, uh, what is it? I'm trying to think, if you remember what it is. But it's focusing on breathing not sleeping but breathing but not focusing on the breath but talking about the breath with internal words you know so I'm saying this inside my mind but I'm not really taking any notice of my breathing when I do it so the first thing I say is breathing naturally And breathing safely and maybe I'll add breathing smoothly or perhaps I'll say breathing naturally breathing easily breathing safely what I've noticed is as I do it the more I kind of lose thread of what I'm saying. Just, you know, three sentences, three very, well, not even sentences really, are they? just two words, then another two words put together, then another two words, all with the beginning word the same, breathing. And it should technically be really, really easy to do, really easy to remember. And I wasn't doing this in order to help me fall asleep. That wasn't anywhere in my goal at all. I wasn't bothered about that. I don't have a lot of problems with getting to sleep or sleeping. Sleeping is one thing I'm pretty good at. But it's the, the breathing thing during sleep. Sometimes I wake up not being able to breathe. Other times I can't. Of, you know it's it's not very pleasant although I'm kind of used to it I do have a machine to wear but I can't sleep with a machine so I started thinking and I've been doing this for about a year now doing sort of self-hypnosis different variations of self-hypnosis in and it's all aimed at keeping my throat open and Program us, programming myself to breathe, to continue to breathe all through the night in the same way as I do all through the day without any effort, without any focus just naturally breathing in and out without any obstacles 
and that's all I was just doing and I kind of broke it down to a very simple system of saying the words that I say breathing naturally breathing easily breathing safely maybe breathing smoothly you know it alternates it depends but I think breathing naturally and breathing easily are the two that I try to keep and breathing safely is always a good thing driving safely eating safely just doing everything safely is not in a sense of not ever doing anything because of the fear of danger but feeling safe being just being aware I guess when you cross the road you look both ways to make sure there's no cars coming or bicycles or the hot air balloon landing or you know whatever it might be you make sure before you cross the road in the same way you, you make sure that you've got something on your feet when you walk out the front door on your way to work on the way to church on the way to school on the way to the shops whatever these are things that we just naturally do kind of unconsciously in a way but it's still it's a sense of safety it's a sense of making sure you've got your keys before you leave your house so that you can get back in just these natural things that although may be a bit boring are incredibly important so breathing is you know pretty high up on the uh, level of importance when it comes to our lives but what I noticed with this and even even if there wasn't any kind of issues with uh, breathing issues at night even if that wasn't the case for me what I noticed is I was getting incredibly tired trying to repeat these tiny sentences so I'd do it maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times and then after that I'd start to just I'd be saying the words slower and I'd find myself drifting really just drifting and I just and trying to remember where I was in the repetitive sentences have I already said breathe naturally what's next and I, sometimes I forget what the next thing to say is breathe smoothly And then sometimes I'll start saying easily breathe. Now that's not the right way around. Easily breathe, breathe, breathe easily. And I just, maybe the word smooth will come to mind. But I'm not, I might not bother saying it, but however, I feel that the thought of the smooth is there. It's been done, but I haven't actually said it in my head. And as I'm saying it, I'm noticing a 
calmness really spreading not just in my throat my neck but like through my whole body just a sense of effortlessness really um, no obstacles but not just in breathing but just in anything it's as if all those invisible obstacles that may have been there getting in the way of me just falling asleep have just been flattened or just dissolved and although I'm not lying there trying to get to sleep and I'm not lying there trying to stay awake I'm just trying to maybe get a few minutes worth of self-hypnosis, self-repetition uh, those thoughts those words you know, trying to get a few minutes of that into my mind into my unconscious mind setting me up for a calm restful and relaxing sleep without any obstacles yeah I, I struggle to to stay awake when I'm doing it I find that my mind just begins to drift a bit but it's not drifting towards any other thoughts there's, no, there's nothing at all going on in my mind I'm not thinking about anything that's happened in the past or anything that may happen in the future or even about really now really it's just It's a bit like that sense where you've just, it's a warm evening, or you know, and you've got the breeze on you. And maybe you might be sitting indoors, you might have the window open and the breeze is just blowing on, on your face. Or it might be a, a nice day outside, but you've got the breeze gently blowing on your body and you're safe, calm, your body temperature is perfect, everything, you know, you're not too hot, not too cold, you're just not really thinking about anything. And you can just enjoy that, that feeling of cool air on your face on your hands on your neck and of course depending on what you're wearing all the other parts of you that are not covered will also experience the sensations of that cool air So right now I feel, I can feel the cool air on my arms, my hands, my ankles because they're uncovered, my face, my neck, the front of my neck but also the back of my neck even though Technically, there shouldn't be any air blowing on the back of my neck, but I can still feel it. I can still feel that coolness. It 
it's kind of as if when I breathe in, I can feel that coolness going into my mouth, down my throat and into my lungs. But as if that coolness is also spreading over my body at the same time. It's a nice feeling. And there's not much going on in the background. Maybe there's a few sounds here or there. But it doesn't seem to matter at all. as if those sounds just become part of the air that surrounds you. This is really, really relaxing. Just being and feeling peaceful. Really is a lovely, lovely feeling. peaceful really is the right word for how I'm feeling right now I just had a little spasm in my right arm there where my muscles are relaxing so much it's a little of a kind of a little release of energy it's, it's as if the muscle in my arm just did a little fart an internal fart And even though you can be aware of those things, you can enjoy the the feeling of not needing to hold on to being awake and at the same time not needing to hold on to the feeling of wanting to fall asleep you can just enjoy Just enjoy being and feeling peaceful. Feeling calm, always, always got this memory of these two memories I've got where I really, really felt calm. One was when I visited a friend in Nottingham. 
can't remember what time of the year it was, but it was it wasn't summer, but it was probably be, you know springtime, and I was sitting outside in his garden on top of something. It was a chair or coal bunker or something, and I was just sitting there. And there was some wind. And it was a nice day, but it wasn't hot. It was just a nice temperature. And I had this cold wind, cold wind or cool wind, on my face. And there was some background sounds. Maybe there might be a train in the background or something. I felt so relaxed. Really, really felt calm. And that feeling was as good as any sleep I've ever had. Just that feeling. A feeling that I wanted just to last. I wanted to keep that feeling. That natural sense of release. As if all the any stresses and strains from the past had just left my body completely. It's as if I'd just fallen in love with life. Being in love with being alive. For no reason, just enjoying the moment. And I would happily have sat there for hours and hours. Then there was another time, a few years back, and I was at work, and I'd sat, went to the office, and I sat down in a chair that was really comfortable, and it was one of the ones that could lay right back in. I closed my eyes, and it was as if my body just melted. as if I was made of butter I just melted all on the floor all through the chair and completely completely relaxed And I would have happily just stayed, stayed with that feeling of satisfying comfort and peacefulness that seemed to surround my body and shield me from anything from outside it's as if I was being protected from everything else in the world any strains or anxiety or stress or worries that may be outside of me seem to just stay outside of you allowing yourself to just enjoy 
the moment. Being in love with now. And that sense of appreciation that you can feel for how naturally and deeply relaxed you feel now you can enjoy the senses of not sensing anything and really embrace your natural ability to sleep naturally Because we are all born with these natural abilities to sleep easily and safely. a squeaky chair in the background sleeping it's so easy relaxing it's so so easy sleeping is so different from needing to eat needing to drink being thirsty being hungry needing the toilet need in human contact it's all the same thing it's a natural instinct that we have that we share
and breathe in. Is the most natural thing next to sleeping. Because the body automatically does everything that is required whether you're awake or asleep your body does not need for you to do anything consciously outside of keeping safe feeding yourself keeping clean drinking water those general things that you do on a daily basis when you sleep your unconscious mind continues to take care of all aspects of your body things feel quieter your muscles in your body feel more relaxed Everything seems to slow down. Everything slows down. And you You can enjoy that sense of comfort without even needing to label it with a word of description because these feelings so calming that words Necessary and 
thoughts. Are no longer. Necessary. necessary you have no decisions to make to give because all there is is this Just you enjoying your sleep. And each time you decide to go to sleep. From now onwards, you find sleeping naturally is just so simple. Sleeping. easily becomes a part of who you are from this moment forward.